Time to get it moving, and be quick about it. No daydreaming. Has to be one of the Deathbringers Owen talked about. Pretty name. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first.
see what you have to say. What? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. 
I mean, we're Thera Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Even old death. Nothing natural. Another cave in. But I could get through. Use that as a ramp to get back up. Looks like I can climb here.
PCA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it all... like the way up. What's left of it? Maybe <laughs> a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Silver. Plants can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace.
her way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover merge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up to something big or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another phone has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. ...that consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I... Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final cell has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn? Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. 
From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am, or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up there, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn.
corruptor. That might prove a challenge. Look out below!
cell. I wonder what it's for. That's them, all right. If they're not looking for answers, just weapons. Gonna come in handy.
That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? The Eclipse, tampering with a metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out!
I'd have to leave something else behind. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right, so is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes, there is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> it's not that simple. I'll need some time to work out the details. So what am I supposed to do? Wait around? I'm sure you have other matters to attend to. I'll be in touch. Wait! Silence? Other matters to attend to. <sighs> well, Varl and Sona still need help against the Eclipse. Guess I'm off to Devil's Grief. Now, 
How am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be time for that. I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Maybe I should try to find War Chief Sona. She went after the killers from the proving. Next time, I'll remember what the Matriarch decreed. Being soaked from melted snow. Why are we even wondering? The killer. My own damn fault. Should have got out of it quick. Goddess, remember those we have left.
That's a machine I can't avoid. Wait until I've heard it. Maybe the war chief left something behind. Some clue as to where she went. Lots of machines. All controlled by the killers. They sent a stampede of them down the slope. And Nora managed to take down a corruptor. But not before the killers used it. And the other machines against them. Brave, let us speak. Dead and wounded, all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. 
Varl told me that the war chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the war chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins at Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with the lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. these machines are made, I could find a way to override them there.
in the head either. This must be the rise Sona's runner told me about. Chief stopped here. That old bow has seen a lot of action. No one would have left it willingly. So has taken losses. We're crafting ammunition here. Dressings for wounds. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. Might be a blood trail I could follow. I should try my focus. Like Sona and her braves headed for that ridge. Took it out. She could be close.
You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? <sighs> you have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. The killers are just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupter demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. Hours ago, I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us, but we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. The shadow commands it. Something over here? Myself mad. What was that? Not 
nothing there. It is We might have trouble. Nothing there, idiot! This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the War Party Massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! 
What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother... Got too much already. Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Theron, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the Matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there.